Hey guys, it's Nate. Um, I'm going to be going by my uh, Steam username, Benedict Breakfast. Um, so I'll probably be starting my intros from now on with, hey guys, it's Benedict. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with the new intro. Hey guys, it's Benedict, and today I'll be playing Seven Days to Die. I've been working on this a lot, um, and I've been playing it a good amount. Um, it's one of the only games uh, that I have that I really enjoy playing that I'm, I feel comfortable uh, recording at this point. Um, I don't want to do Fallout 4 or any of the other games that I have um, that are super like AAA. I want to start with kind of some more of the indie games that people may not know much about um, and are interested in, in learning a little bit what, what, what kind of stuff that I really like and I'm super into. Um, so I'm currently using a uh, mod pack. Um, it's one of the pretty popular ones. Um, I'll probably do a modded series as well as a vanilla series. For those of you who don't know what vanilla means, it just means not just you know the way the game is it was built and the way the game is made without it being changed by users or anything like that. Um, so I'll probably do an original version, but right now this is the modded version. Um, it takes the base game and adds some different mechanics in terms of changes the leveling system and how your character levels up. And it changes. Um, it changes a little bit about how uh, it changes a little bit about how you craft because crafting is going to be a bit different. Some recipes are going to be locked. Um, it's not just it's not just um, based on um, you know what supplies and what resources you have. You have to also know. Oh, I can actually know how to make this now. So I'll show you. Let's get started real quick. Um, so for this, I'm going to be doing survival single player. Um, and I'm going to do it in a uh, Navis game. Navis game is the um, is the is the pre-generated world. Um, it's more predictable, um, and it's more. I feel like things just. I know where some things are in terms of where places and, and whatnot are. Um, of course, loot can be changed um, and whatnot. Um, but it's just a little bit easier to, to get started with. Um, and I would recommend it for people who are starting out. Don't start with a random gen because the random gen, uh, the random procedures are still a little bit fuzzy right now. Uh, right now the game is currently in alpha 15. It's been in alpha for, I want to say, three or four years now. Um, I started playing it at alpha 7. Um, as other people played it, or I might even played it at alpha 4. I really don't remember. Um, but... Um, only like the, between four and seven <laughs> um, but it used to be in voxel for those of you who don't know what voxel is voxel is a uh, is a engine it's a game engine it's what the game is built on that has to do with destructible terrain um, and really a kind of a blocky kind of minecraft look textures to it and the way the way the game looks in terms of the uh, the world so I'm gonna call my game name something silly like uh, or something I don't know something like um, Zombified, 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 and I'm gonna set some options. Um, I'm gonna start with a difficulty level of Nomad. That's the default setting. 18 hours of daylight. Uh, zombies. Um, I'm gonna say never run. This is gonna be a Walking Dead playthrough. Um, so I'm gonna say that they just they walk no matter where you are. Um, normal aggression. Persistent profiles off. Um, I'm gonna, what is the default for this? Is it 50? 50 is default. I'm gonna make it an hour, um, is, make an hour is, um, an hour is, actually I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do the default. Lock durability, 200%, loot abundance, do these all, I'll do regular, yeah, cause when you do a block durability of, at 200, um, I'll do 100, reset these back to normal. Um, cheat mode off, mark airdrops every day, I'm doing spawning uh, very low at this point, I might change it, I can change the, the I can change it at any point, um, and I'm going to do drop everything, uh, loot respawn time 5 days, I need memory 45, I need 45 seconds, All right, let's get started with this. Everything else looks pretty good. One of the things about this game that I kind of like is the audio and the music. Um, although they do need to chill out with the um, how much 
they uh, do the, the, the zombies that come sometimes they go crazy <laughs> and, and you'll, you'll have one zombie and then you'll be like in your base or, or in a house or whichever and it'll sound like the whole house just surrounded by zombies come on let's go let's get started uh, it'll just sound like the whole base is just completely surrounded by zombies and they're everywhere and there's hundreds of them or some nonsense and it's just one so they kind of have to work I think on sound mapping also, I'm not sure if occlusion is the right word, but occlusion is usually used to describe something that when you're in a space, it removes whatever it is from that space that shouldn't be there. Like rain occlusion is used to describe being under some, um, some shelter and it not falling into the shelter. Um, so that's rain occlusion. Um, so I'm hoping that they'll add, add sound occlusion so that if you're underground, it'll be harder to hear things that are above ground. Um, I'm not sure, again, I don't know if occlusion is the right word, O-C-C-U-L something or other. <laughs> I'm not going to try to spell it. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, I'm really not sure uh, what their plans are. But I know Alpha 16 is coming out pretty soon. Uh, Alpha 16 is going to start, they're hoping, oh. They're hoping to, welcome to Valmod. Thank you for choosing Valmod to start with. Please search the, your crafting menu. Yes, this is important. So basically you have to first choose a class and then unlock it with the key you're given. Um, and here's my quest. So the quest is also a bit different um, from uh, the regular game. For those of you who know the base game, um, uh, <clears throat> you'll see that the quest is different, but it's still pretty much the same, the same vein of things. Um, so I'm going to search... Class. I have no class. Come on. Class. And I'm going to be uh, probably going to be a survivor. Um, crossbow and more food supplies, skilled in archery, scavenging, and toolsmithing. Yeah. So um, for someone who's playing single player, I think survivor is probably going to be uh, the, the thing that I want to do. Um, so what you have to do is you have to lay it on the ground and unlock it, or right-click it with this key, supposedly. That's a piece of paper in my hand, but it's a key. Open it up, and all oh, that goodness, look at that. There we go. So I'm going to put on tank top, some pants, and some shoes. Uh, I'm walking around in the desert, definitely don't want... Um, you definitely don't want having to deal with is that is that um so so okay so the armor and the um the things you wear will uh change how you um how you how how, how uh warm and cold you get so you can actually um uh, so that's survivor skills you can actually uh end up uh getting overheated and die from heat exhaustion or you can die from uh, hypothermia. So it's pretty crazy at this point. Um, and right now I'm in a desert biome, uh, so I can get pretty hot pretty quick. Uh, luckily, wearing minimal clothing is obviously the answer. Um, not too minimal. I actually happen to spawn... Uh, well, for me, I don't want to wear too minimal, and you'll see in a moment. I am... This is my character. So... <laughs> Um, don't want me running around naked, but, um, but um, um, I, underneath it's it's just you know it's just I think like a sports bra or something. Um, I forget what her name is on the actual um, on the actual uh, like pre pre built characters menu, but that's that's me. It's pretty cool. Um, and let's see. So punching grass for some reason, punching grass and every and every kind of like sur survival crafting game, punching things is the best way to get things. Not 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 pulling them out, not 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 gathering, but you know if a swipe a swipe maybe, but grass. <coughs> no grass, you gotta punch. Punch some grass. You punch some. Well, don't punch the cactuses. That's really not a good idea actually. Uh, this is a yucca. Hello yucca. Get some yucca plants. Those are going to be good for water. 
Um, come on over here. Punch this like piece of crap wannabe tree. How you doing? Punch it. There you go. Get some wood from that. Let's punch it till it dies. <clears throat> Okay, punch into those trees. No, there's gonna be some rocks pretty much in every biome that are scattered around, some small stones. Um, if you walk around, you'll find them. Some aloe vera. Um, where else are there stones? If you see any, let me know. In the comments below, give me a timestamp. Um, I should be able to punch that and get some wood. Oh, no, I guess not. Punch this and get some wood. Yes. There, so yeah, so the thing with desert biomes is that it's kind of hard to find um, stones. Um, luckily, it is, what time is it? It's 9.25 in the morning. It's actually morning time here, too. I'm recording in the morning. Um... Okay, so here's a bird's nest. This is going to be good. So bird's nests, um, you'll find them scattered around. They have feathers, and occasionally they'll have eggs. Um, most of the times it's just feathers, though. And so the, uh, the feathers are going to be, obviously, uh, used for making arrows, which are a quiet way of dealing with your zombie problem. Um, so uh, zombies can be attracted several different ways. Um... And one of those ways, it, that's wood, um, one of those ways is via smell, if you're carrying something like, like a certain food that they, you know, like, like for example, if you go hunting uh, and you bring back some, some meat that you, you've hunted, um, they can, if you have the raw meat in your inventory or even the cooked meat, they can smell it and they'll come after you. Um, so that also includes uh, enemies spawning into the world because of you holding um, something in your inventory that smells. Um, the only way to stop them from spawning or from coming after you is either to put it in a chest or to drop it. Um, they will no matter what. I don't think there's anything that really covers up the smell. Um, really can't find... I'm having trouble with some rocks. You know, it can be a like, solid snake and jump under the cardboard box. You no, know, just have to search it. Um... Can I, I want to see, can I scrap this? Oh, yeah. Yay, I got some iron. Um, class quest, yeah. Okay, so um, this is an interesting one. So class quests. So these are um, kind of side quests right now. Because, again, the, the game is in early access. There's no super big plot right now. Um, but I'm not sure if there's going to be one anyway. It's more of a sandbox survival kind of thing. Um, but hopefully there'll be a, some sort of adventure mode or something. Um, kind of like Minecraft where you had to kind of, you know, do certain things. And eventually there's some end goal, but you didn't have to do it. Um, a survivor knows how to be silent when needed. Go kill some zombies without being heard. Okay, so that'll be good. Now, I have a uh, crossbow that I'm given for being a survivor. I have 70 bolts and they're iron, which is pretty good, actually. Um, and where is that crossbows here? 250 durability. Um, so one of the things uh, I, someone I was playing with um, had asked about was these numbers here. Uh, they thought that uh, this stack, um, that, that this was 290 flashlights. It's not. It's 290 durability. Um, that's the, um, the, the, the durability of the item itself. Um, or at least like the, the class or whatever. So usually it's by color, like kind of like this, like, uh, off yellowish kind of brown orangey I guess um, color is kind of crappy and then like the bluish purples are like the best ones and then the really like perfect ones that are I think 600 is the range it goes up to 600 is like gonna be like fuchsia it's gonna be pretty much magenta um, and I know those of you who are super big color fans out there are gonna say no magenta and fuchsia are different colors well I'm sorry I know I meant magenta um, okay, I am really having some trouble finding stones. Um, I, if I, if I, I have to punch this cinder block for a bit. Um, I actually will get stone from it, but it's not as fun for you guys to watch me punch a cinder block. I don't say there we go, get stones. 
but maybe it'd be more fun than watching me walk around and do absolutely nothing. Um, I'm going to record for a few more minutes, um, and then I'm going to stop and wait till next time. Um, but uh, for now, I want to just make sure I get this, um, this main quest done. <clears throat> So at least I've crafted stone axe, and I know some building uh, recipes and whatnot. All right, there we go. And now I've gathered five stones. Finally, we go into uh, basics and uh, stone axe. I'm gonna favorite it because that's something I'm gonna be making a lot, and I'm gonna craft it. Um, they've extended the crafting times of things. Uh, wood axes, you, or, or stone axes, you used to be able to build in about three seconds. They've made it now, I think, 12 or 13, um, which makes it a little more realistic um, and also a little bit harder. See, this is that kind of off color that I was telling you about, that kind of brownish, weird off color. Um, so now I'm going to have to craft a bedroll. Luckily, I, I gathered enough plant fibers. Bedroll, here it is. This will set your spawn point. Um, don't pick it back up. This is not Minecraft. Um, I saw some YouTubers um, pick up their <coughs> pick up their bedroll. Um, I'm also going to set the spawn because there's no zombies that I've run into yet. I'm going to set the spawn to a bit higher. Um, it's at very low right now, and even the difficulty setting, it's not nearly as much as I'd like it to be. I'd li I really would like there to be some zombies that actually do try to come and get me. Um, rather than it just being a cakewalk. Because um, I have these weapons and nothing to do with them. Um, so, alright, so I'm going to place my bedroll inside. Ooh, what did I step on? Hello, can I clean up a little bit? Do some housekeeping. Housekeeping? Oh my god. You must be really into cleaning. No, no, I hate housekeeping. But. In video games, for some reason, I can't stand a dirty living space. Alright, so we got a bed here. Um, can I... I don't think I can... No. So, I'm going to get rid of this bed and put my bedroll there. So, it'll be pretty much the same thing. Uh, you can craft um, furniture later in the game. Uh, you can craft be actual beds that you can use to set spawn points if you, if you want to be a little fancier than sleeping in a sleeping bag. Um, but I figure there's no real point to it unless you want to just play because you, know, you want to do it kind of in terms of a role-playing aspect. You say, oh, look at me, I'm, I have a nice, you know, house or whatever, which is always great. Uh, okay, so see, like, I know I would have immediately pressed E, and if I was being chased by a zombie and I wanted to put a bedroll down, I would have put it down and pressed E to set my spawn point, and then I would have picked it back up and I would have had nowhere to spawn. Um, so make sure you don't press E. Oh, also, if you're playing online, uh, no one else can pick up your bedroll while you are on, but once you get off, they can, and then you won't have a spawn point. Um, so if you die after you get back on, um, you may not respawn if someone had, uh, picked up your bedroll while online. So make sure you're playing with anti-cheat and playing with uh, anti-griefing or at least land claims um, but that's going to be the end of this episode for right now thanks so much for watching um, if you'd like to see more videos like this if you want to see uh, more of me um, playing some games and just kind of you know hanging out and and you know talking <laughs> then uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe it really would help me out um, I'm just starting out. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm Benedict Breakfast, I guess I'll say. I'm Benedict Breakfast. Enjoy.